Hi guys, it's Bailey and today we're back with another standing abs routine. We're going to tone and tighten the waistline, giving you a flat tummy in no time. Let's get started. All right, you guys, let's get started holding on to one weight. If you don't have a weight at home, all good. You can still do the moves without it. Let's get started with our feet hip distance. We're just going to reach the arm up, really taking that nice stretch through the oblique, and then bend all the way down so we're lengthening on the other side. We're gonna reach and bend. Now it's really important that you get that stretching and bending because it's like we're doing a side crunch with that oblique. And down. You should start to feel like it's a bit of work to hold that weight overhead, and then you're really squeezing into that sideline muscle as you bring the arm down by your side. Good, reaching up and down. So this one's great because it works our oblique, so those are the sideline muscles that run down the side of our body, similar to as if we were doing you know, a side plank or something. You really want to reach and stretch and then bring it in. All the, um, all of the exercises here are going to really help to activate not only our obliques, those deep abdominal muscles, but they're really going to help support the entire core because we will be doing a little bit of balance and stability work. There we go, let's do another three. Oh, I feel my obliques working nice and hard for two. Good, hold this next one down. Little pulses here. To make it harder, let's bring that opposite hand behind the head. Good, so you're gonna feel this side have to pull your body back up, holding onto that weight and then you're doing that little contraction through the side waist. This will give us those nice sideline muscles down the side of our abdominals. Good, little pulses here for five. This one's also great for love handles. Such a good exercise for four, for three, for two, and one. Beautiful, bringing it up. We're going to extend the arm out to the side. I'm still working those same muscles. We're gonna lift the leg and arm to meet and then lower them down. So I want you guys to think of those left side line muscles. Really squeeze and lower down. Now you can keep this a little bit smaller range, but we do want to control all of those exercises. So each time that we lift our leg to the side, we want to hold so it's like we're really working those side abdominals and then we lower it down. Just a little bit of bonus arm work. Now if the weight gets to be too heavy, I want you guys to just hold it in front of your chest or even take it into the other hand as a counterbalance. But if you can, holding it out to the side. Really squeeze those obliques. Good, two more. Last one, try to hold five, four, squeeze those abs, three, two, and one. Good, lowering down. We're gonna go into a superhero next. So we're taking the same arm, same leg, and I'll just angle so you guys can see. We're going to reach the leg back, reach the arm forward, and then squeeze our knee to our elbow, really cinching those front abdominals. Reach and squeeze. Good, I'll show you guys from the front. Reach, and then really round that spine. reach, and then tiger curl around the spine, knee to elbow. Really good for our upper and lower abs. Each time you squeeze,
squeeze the knee in, you're really challenging those low abdominals. And then we have our deep core muscles really helping us balance. If your balance is off today, I just want you to reach the leg back and then pull your knee to your elbow, staying more upright. As long as you're really coming to that nice forward flexion, that little ab curl. If you can, you will get a little bit more out of it trying to add that balance challenge. Good, last one here. And then lower the foot down, take the weight into both hands, standing bicycle crunches. Still with that left leg. We're just going to twist here, bringing our knee to our elbow. Really use your exhale. And twisting, think twisting and tighten. Good, really squeezing those abdominals. Each time you use your exhale, think of pulling your belly button back to your spine. So this workout's great because it really keeps all the Pilates principles. Everything's coming from the core, and it's really effective for toning our abs, but with none of the neck pain that people get from their traditional Pilates classes. Good. Let's pick up the pace here for the last 10. Nine, eight, seven, good, six, for five, for four, three, two, and one. Good. Coming through center, just give yourself a little shake. Let's go on to the other side. Starting with our feet hip distance. Gonna reach the right arm up overhead this time, feeling that lengthening of the oblique, and then bending. Really reach and bend. Good, we really wanna feel that stretch and then bending down. So think of lengthening the muscles and then shortening the muscles. That's why Pilates is so great. It really does help to create that long, lean muscles because you're strengthening while you lengthen. Remembering to breathe. Holding our next one down for our pulses, bringing that left hand back behind our head. Try to get nice and low. You're gonna feel a lot of work through that opposite side. Resisting our heavy weight. Good, lower and lower. For four. Three, two, good, last one, beautiful. From here, taking that arm right out to the side. Press your weight down through your left foot. We'll come into that nice oblique challenge, lifting our leg to our arm and lowering down. Really thinking of squeezing into the side waist. Remember, that weight can come back through center, still squeezing those abs, or to the other side, which actually makes it harder to balance. But if we can, squeeze. Remember to hold. Two more. 
We're gonna hold this one for five. Squeeze those abs, four, three, two, and one. Good, bringing it in. Our superheroes, here we go. I'll do this one from a bit of an angle. Remember, really works those lower and upper abs. So really reach that arm forward and then make sure you're rounding the spine, lengthening, and rounding. It's like a standing ab crunch. Good, squeeze those low abs for two. And one, beautiful. Take that weight into the center, finishing off with those standing bikes. Our leg comes out to the side, elbows nice and wide, squeezing that core, coming into some twists here. Remember, twisting is tightening. It's working all those little corset muscles. Really try to get your elbow all the way past your knee. Good, really twist. Really feel those little muscles in your side working. up the pace for our last 10. Good, we have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Place that weight down. Take one arm up and over, nice big side stretch. Through center, other side. And then come on up, give yourself a big round of applause. Great job, you guys. If you like this workout, please give it a thumbs up so I know to film more Pilates standing abs. And please subscribe because I post new workouts every week. I'll see you soon. Can I just use the towel maybe? Towel me. I'm fine, I'm good. You're like, you're not fine.